weather around the world is changing. Thirteen days of darkness send waves of freezing cold around the planet. While here in Miami we're being blanketed by snow again today as another nighttime storm whips across the country. The blizzard is expected to last another 12 days until the sun comes up. Places like Miami are not equipped for lashing winter weather. Many houses have no heat, another crippling blow to cities already struggling to endure. And life around the globe is going to get harder still. It's been four and a half years since the rotation of the Earth began to slow down. It used to turn about 1,600 kilometers an hour. Now, it's barely turning at all. The sun stays in the sky for 16 days straight. As the rotation slowed, the oceans of the world flowed toward the poles. Two new oceans have taken shape. Kansas is now right on the coast of the new mighty Northern Sea. It's 16 kilometers deep. About 800,000 square kilometers of the United States is now inhabitable. Less than a tenth of its former land mass. Settlers have created a habitat for growing food and staying sheltered from the increasingly harsh climate of extreme hot and extreme cold. The new oceans offer the best chance of food. The flooding of continents has made them nutrient rich, meaning a lot of food for fish. Warm water species died as coastal ecosystems were destroyed, either dried up or flooded when the oceans moved. But many cold water species, such as cod, mackerel and tuna, survive. Men and women who once farmed now fish where a new ocean meets the Midwestern Plains. In the long, cold nights, refugees work in teams, catching fish from the freezing ocean. They take them back to the habitat. They risk their lives in minus 55 degree cold that the body can endure for just a few minutes. Fishing through the ice is not offering enough food for an increasing number of North American refugees. Time is running out. As the spinning of the earth slows, the blinding snow finally stops. The Coriolis effect caused by spin controls weather, and it's gone. Now, storms are increasingly predictable. Reduced spin produces a more stable weather pattern. But there are still wild temperature swings between the hot days and cold nights. And this stable weather means less precipitation. Rain mostly falls far out on the oceans without winds to blow storms inland. The occasional daytime rain that does come to the Kansas habitat is stored for the long periods of drought. The situation here is desperate.
At sea, the oceanographers who set sail from San Francisco are now shipwrecked on the megacontinent. They scour the ocean floor for whatever they can find to survive. Their choice to live far out in what used to be the sea is risky. Unlike those in Kansas, they only have the resources they brought with them and what they can salvage. But if they succeed, they'll have the largest piece of habitable land on the entire planet. Those who have chosen to stay put in non-sunken cities like Miami face the greatest hardship. Life here is feral. There's very little to eat. Electricity is unreliable. Clean water is hard to find. There are no food supplies coming in by land or sea. The comforts of technological life are gone. When the resources left behind are exhausted, Miami will have nothing left to live on. Time is running out. With the end in sight, some survivors decide to leave. They must find a place that is not landlocked like Miami. To survive in this bizarre world, we need to be close to water. And the best place is thousands of kilometers away. The oceans are one of the last sources of animal protein on the planet. Mid-Pacific, a new colony takes root. They set up a small base camp for food and shelter. Wind power is harnessed to generate electricity. The seabed's drying up and agriculture will soon be possible on the edge of the northern ocean. When the darkness comes, the climate stretches human survival to its limit. More than 16 days of freezing temperatures with a bare minimum of shelter on the open megacontinent. And when the world stops spinning completely, more deadly change will sweep Earth. Five years after it started slowing down, the Earth stopped spinning completely. The oceans, atmosphere, and climate settle into place. A megacontinent encircles the planet's center. Two vast oceans run from the poles to the middle latitudes. All land near the equator is lethally airless. More than half of the new continent is uninhabitable, too high above sea level. The Earth is not spinning, but it still orbits the Sun. So from now on, it will be light for half the year and dark for the other half, as the Sun is on the other side of the Earth. The old concept of day and night is dead. From now on, it's an annual pattern. Six months of sunrise and day, six months of sunset and night. The sun casts a withering spotlight on the earth. Under its glare, 
temperatures soar to 55 degrees Celsius. Everything in its path is battered by powerful winds. On the edges of the sun's spotlight, the effects are less deadly. On the new megacontinent near Hawaii, it rains in torrents for a month. In the same way that a hurricane creates storms thousands of miles away. The rain provides enough water for the rest of the year. Others are not so lucky. Those living in Kansas are thousands of miles north of the sun's blistering path. They now discover, in the stable weather of a still earth, that it will never rain here again. The settlers cannot even desalinate the oceans for water. With the electricity supply collapsed, there is not enough energy. The world now has one weather pattern, all controlled by the sun. No more winds, no more pressure systems. And with the long, dark night, the final blow. The nighttime temperature plummets to minus 55 degrees Celsius, almost 20 degrees colder than the average Arctic winter. The new polar oceans freeze and stay frozen year round. On a still earth, those living in Kansas are doomed. The ocean colony in the mid-Pacific is just 1,700 kilometers from the edge of the sun's path. They can fish without having to break through the ice. A year passes. More than six and a half billion people are dead. A few wandering survivors find their way to one of the last places on Earth where people can breathe the air and survive the climate. The cycle of darkness and light, cold and hot, wet and dry, repeats and continues for the rest of time. Suddenly slowing our rotation creates a brand new planet. It will never happen like this. But still, it reveals the delicate balance that keeps our planet alive.